Hello everyone, my name is Valeria and today I'm going to tell you about automation and how you can use it to streamline your everyday sales processes. With the automation rules you can uh, automate your team's uh, uh, routine activities based on criteria and uh, conditions you set. The rules will be triggered automatically when an opportunity goes to a specific stage. The rules can be activated all at once, one by one, or after a specified period of time. Before we start, make sure to set up the sales funnel. You can do it in two ways. In the CRM and opportunities, and in the system settings CRM. You can create multiple funnels for each sales process. You can customize the stages and determine the color for each of them. We also encourage you to connect your email account to send emails automatically using automation. Now let's speak about how to create automation for opportunities. To create an automation rule for the opportunities, go to CRM Opportunities, select the sales funnel you need to create automation rules. In the upper right corner, select Automation. There are sales funnel stages at the top of the board. You may add one or more automation rules under each stage. You can also create your own automation rules on two additional stages, closed lost and closed one. For example, send a notification to the head of the department if the opportunity is lost. Let's look at an example of setting up a specific automation. Go to the opportunities, automation and let's create a task. Click on create rule, select task. Write a name, set automation activation time. There are four options available. Add conditions, you can choose several at once. When a certain condition is met, this triggers an automation. If you activate this option, automation will be executed only after a previous. Here the task itself is set. Give it name, description, to the start and finish date. Lolo can automatically substitute data from the opportunity for which this task will be created. To do this, you need to use the variables that can be found by clicking on the three dots to the right. If necessary, select the option that the person responsible for the task can change the deadline on his own. You can indicate who is the owner and who is the assignee. Choose workflow. You can check the option approval from the owner. If necessary, you can select the option so that automation is considered complete only after the completed task. Save it. That's it, we have created our first automation. Once the automation rules are created, it is really important to learn how to manage them. Once your rule is created, you can change its details at any time by clicking on Edit. You can also delete the rule by clicking on the X sign from the board. All automation rules can be easily moved between stages, as well as within one stage to change the sequence of rules. You can also see the completed and upcoming automation on each page of the opportunity. So we figured out how to create automation for opportunities and now uh, let's look at some of the most popular uh, options for setting up, uh, I guess, automation uh, for your processes. First of all, let's uh, learn how you can automate um, uh, follow-ups uh, with the automation rules. Uh, you can create a personal digital assistant. So what will he do? Uh, this assistant uh, will, um, will remind your team to call a customer or uh, maybe schedule a product presentation or ask um, uh, the customers for their opinion. You can create a sequence of events and tasks uh, for the sales rep uh, that, will, uh, that will guide uh, him towards a successful opportunity outcome. Sales representatives uh, will uh, always know what to do next. For example, go to the negotiation stage. Select an event, automatic action. 
schedule a call for your sales rep. Run in three days. The next one, if uh, the client has been uh, set on the negotiation stage um, of a sales funnel for too long, you can trigger an automation rule that will automatically uh, send them an offer with a special discount. So what does it mean? Uh, let's say if the client is at negotiation stage uh, for more than a week, um, they email him or her uh, a personal offer which uh, might encourage them to come to a decision much quicker. Create a new automation rule on the negotiation stage. Select an email automatic action. Compose a message or use a predefined template and choose your opportunity contacts email. Run 7 days. When a deal progresses to a certain stage, you can automatically move it to another sales funnel using automation rules. For example, create a new automation rule on the repeat purchase stage. Select Field Update – Automatic Action. Opportunity Field – Sales Funnel. Then select the repeat customer funnel. Run immediately. In this case, this opportunity will be handled by a sales rep who is responsible for dealing with uh, repeat customers and can ensure this person receives the best treatment. Another very useful and important option is to change the assignee for example, uh, to ensure that each potential customer gets the right attention uh, she or he deserves. That is why it is crucial to assign uh, the new opportunity uh, to the rep who specializes uh, in a particular product type, geographic location uh, or is simply more experienced. Create a new automation rule on the new stage. Select Field Update – Automatic Action. Condition – Opportunity name contains bankruptcy. Run immediately. Opportunity field is a knee. Select a lawyer who specializes in bankruptcy cases. When an opportunity is closed as one, you can automatically create a project using an automation rule. Create a new automation rule on the closed one stage. Select project, run immediately. Using the opportunity name variable, you can create a project with the same name as your opportunity. Choose a project manager, use the opportunity as a knee variable to automatically place the required responsible person from each opportunity.